Hi, this is Jack Stanley, and I wanted to talk about Paris, France, and the terrible disaster which has taken place. Having lived a long time, I have seen many different disasters take place. I have seen dreadful things all the way back to the Kennedy assassination, 9-11, so many other things, but nonetheless, this most recent thing is very disturbing because it hits at the very core of humanity. Innocent civilians, innocence um, in just about every part of this. But I want to talk about some things here that I find that are very important to look at. Now, there's a very strong possibility that this was done by a militant group, most probably a Muslim group, that was pushing to raise awareness of their anger and their disapproval of what was going on in France and the rest of the Western world. Now, here's something very, very important to think of. There has been going on for the last uh, few months a strong amount of refugees coming into Europe. And they've had open borders. And lots of refugees are coming in. Many of these are being brought into camps. This is a massive group of individuals. Now, here is what I think is happening, and I think it's very important to think of. First off, this attack, dreadful, awful, the humanity is horrendous. But what is the message? of this attack? Well, I would probably put it this way. The message of this attack is to make people angry at Muslims. Now think of this. I want you to think of this because I'm taking this in a very different direction. That what this attack is attempting to do is to aid the attackers. And you may say, what do you mean by that? The idea of this attack is to make Westerners hate Muslims. And by doing so, will cause many of the refugees to be treated badly by the West. And that many of these individuals will join the cause of the attackers. Now, I know that might sound awful, but think about this. There is something to this. I really do believe it. Granted, this is a terrible attack, but I think there's much more to this attack than just an attack on Western culture. I think it is an attack to get Western culture to attack, to basically fight against Muslims who are peaceful. But by doing so, we'll drive them against uh, much of the West. This is kind of a divide-and-conquer kind of thing. It's, it's very clever if you think about it. I have to tell you also that this is our Sarajevo. This will lead to warfare. It might take a little while but something is going to happen 
With every action, of course, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And in situations like this, it can, can be quite dire. But I want you to remember, once again, these attacks are well orchestrated, well thought out. This was not planned two days ago. This was planned a while ago. And by these actions, you're going to see a hatred. And this hatred will actually come to the aid of the attackers because they will have recruits like there's no tomorrow. So, my suggestion is, yes, we have to be vigilant, but we cannot automatically judge people just because of their religious views. I have no religious views because I don't believe in religion because I find it abhorrent. But sadly, a lot of people in this world do. We have to accept that fact. So, my friends, this is a very sad time in the world. But we cannot play into the hands of the terrorists. Remember that. If we attack many people coming who are refugees or look upon various Muslims that are peaceful, we will alienate them and they'll have no recourse but to be against us. So we have to be very careful here and we have to use our minds. We have to think. And so I wanted to share this message because this is a frightening moment in the history of man. But what is more frightening is the scope of this attack and some of its ideas and designs which are designed to basically affect our natural abhorrence to violence and by disliking and hating those who may resemble those that did the attacks. Please be careful. Please think. This is a very strange world now. But I will tell you that here, in the year of 2015, 101 years after the guns of Sarajevo, World War III has started. It's going to take a long time for it to take place. But believe me, this is where it's truly beginning. Thank you.